Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. And as you can see, we are joined once again by the genius of the balloon industry, who is Chris Horn from Amscan. Chris, Hi, hello. Greg. Hi. <laughs> I've, I've, I've got, I've, we're filming a few shows today. I don't know what other words I'm going to use to describe <laughs> no, you. I'm I, dreading I, it, frankly. I might, I might have to use a thesaurus and, and find <laughs> out what else I can say. Anyway, hello once again. Hello. <laughs> what have you been doing since we last met? Um, preparing for the next one. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to be... Chris, today, what are you going to be doing? Okay, what I'm going to be doing today is something that you've all seen hundreds of times before. Uh, I'm going to do a number stack because okay. they're really, really popular. They make up a big part of a lot of people's businesses. Everybody's always trying to find different ideas or trying to make them. Mm -hmm. So I, my focus right now is to come up with designs for for everybody that are quick and simple and profitable and don't involve too much faff okay. um, that you can turn out quite quickly but still have that you know wow yeah. factor that yeah. make make them um, saleable and so i thought I'll, I'll do a number stack with just a couple of techniques really really simple but hopefully it will still be you know sufficiently yeah. Ooh, to, to make the customers interested in it and, and, and sellable at a price that people could afford. Well, number stacks can be so, you can, you can really personalise them. You Absolutely. can really make the, your own style with There's these some things. stunning ones I've seen that some are people, amazing. Yeah, some people built their business entirely on number they stacks. They did indeed. And, and they continue to do that very successfully. Good photography as well really helps yep. put it out there on Instagram. Absolutely brilliant. So. But, yeah, yeah, absolutely. but we also need a, a nice simple one that you can shut the door. Um, you know, so I'm going to do a single number on okay. a simple stack, which then you, obviously if you've got two digits or three digits or letters or names or whatever, then you can stack each one yeah. individually to create whatever you want. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know. I've got to keep it commercial. Yeah. It can be an acronym, KIC. Keep it, keep, it keep, keep it commercial. Yes. There we go. You can have that. <laughs> Thank you. Keep it commercial. Much. I really need another acronym. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I haven't got enough acronyms in my life. Oh, well, in the corporate world. Yeah. There's not enough acronyms. No. Oh, <laughs> No, I don't need another one, but thank you for that anyway. Okay. So, yeah, so uh, I'm going to be using a nice range of colours that uh, all fit together really well. So we've got the Reflex, Semtex Reflex Gold, yeah. and the Reflex Truffle, which I think is absolutely beautiful. That is nice, actually. Um, and the Reflex Champagne. So those three reflexes, and then I'm going to combine them with uh, white sand mm -hmm. um, so that they, they fit together. And the white gold um, scan number. Reflex um, is still one of the most popular finishes it that is. we sell. It's, yeah. uh, if not the most popular. They one. are they are gorgeous, they're, they're aren't they? Yeah. I mean, we do still have metallics in our range, but why I mean, would you buy a metallic? I gold? know when these exist, you shouldn't say things like you that. You buy metallic. Metallic gold. is still very, yeah. <laughs> very good, and there's but, a place for it. But well, there is a place for it. You're right, these. but the the reflex is just they're fabulous. It's so. Stunning. Yeah, love them, love them, love them, love them. So yeah, okay, so really, really simple. I'm gonna do a double layer base, clusters of four. This is a reflex truffle, and I've inflated them to eight inches, and I'm gonna put my, my weight. That is such a gorgeous color. It's so rich, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, smashing, absolutely smashing. And it works so well with the gold, and with the champagne, and with so many other colors. It's just got a warmth to it. Yeah, That's it what I like about it. Um, and then this is the champagne, reflex champagne, and these are inflated to, hang on, I need to look at my crib sheet here, seven inches. Okay. Um, and I'm, because it's only two layers high, I'm just using the next to hold them together. This is right. not something I generally do, but when it's only two layers high, that's all you really need. So you normally what, put a 260 in? Yeah, if I'm go going a bit higher, I, I will always build a column on okay. a 260. I'm not one for building columns by tying the necks together. I don't think it has enough uh, flexibility or strength. Okay. Just me, personally. Yeah. But when it's only two layers high, that's all you need to really worry about. And then I'm going to take the number and inflate it and tie it into the top. Mm -hmm. So this white gold is nice. It goes so well with the reflex gold and the champagne. It's kind of between the two. Yeah. So it works really well with these. And uh, so just forgive me for the bit of a noise for a moment. I didn't want to, I could have pre-inflated this, I guess, but. You could have.
So quite often you will see me um, when I'm putting a, a, a foil on top of a column, then I'll wrap the top layer of the column around the neck of the foil mm -hmm. and then attach it. Mm -hmm. And because that does work out probably the quickest way um, to attach stuff. But with the bigger balloons like that, they're a little bit too large. It but does you, work. You did that technique on the live, didn't you? Yes, I did. So, yes, um... I did. And I use it a lot. But it's not particularly brilliant when it comes with, with bigger balloons. Yeah. Um, so you have to go back to the old school way of doing it with a with a 260 and tie it nice and tight around the tail of the balloon. Which still works very well. Which still works very well indeed. Be careful of the overhead camera. And just pull that down all the way through and back up again and round a couple of times and then it's nice and securely fixed like that. and if you wanted to you could sell that hey well you could as just that. like that yeah. absolutely of course you could um, but if we can well, <coughs> add a little bit of extra to it then here we go. So I'm going to put some bubble chains around. There's, with the number eight, there's two perfect spaces to put a bubble chain. Um, I, I, if I had a pound for if people asked me how to do a bubble chain and why does it come undone, I don't, I mean, yeah, sorry, I wouldn't be here. I'd be on my yacht okay. somewhere. All right, that's a lot but, of people asking me that question, Chris. <laughs> yeah, it may not be. It's a, a little rowboat, yeah, yeah. A, row, <laughs> <laughs> a small model yacht on the, on the <laughs> park lake. In the bath. Yeah, but no, I mean, it, it's crazy. Um, so I'm going to take the opportunity to, to show again. But I'll come up with another one because if you want the maximum number of bubbles out of a, 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 a single balloon, then you want to inflate your balloon halfway and then each time you twist it, it pushes the air and you should get pretty close to the end and get a full balloon of bubbles out of it. Okay. Inflating it halfway is actually quite tricky. If you've got a fancy machine that you will, is strong enough to inflate the balloon, then obviously just hold it like yeah, that. And yeah. But if you're doing it by yourself, it's actually quite difficult to guess where the halfway point is. So if you fold your balloon in half mm -hmm. and then get a clip like this and put it around there, put it on the balloon at the halfway point. See, Chris, this, this is why I introduce you as the genius <laughs> of the balloon industry. You come up with stuff like this. Yeah. And yeah. Where, where were you when you thought of this? Oh, I was trying to get to sleep one night, uh, well, last night, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it works. So that you, you know when to stop. Yeah, yeah. And then a little bit of air out to soften it, tie it off. And with luck, and balloons are balloons. They have minds of their own. So it might not be perfect, okay. but it's going to be pretty jolly close. Um, and then all you need to do is to make sure that all of your twists are in the same direction. Um, several twists between each bubble and never let go of the end. It really isn't hard, um, but I do understand some people do find it a bit tricky, but it's not hard, just practice. I don't twist lots and lots of times with my hand like this because I have arthritis, so I, I put this first twist in and I roll it down myself like that, which makes it easier. Get all the bubbles as close to the same size as you possibly can. That's pretty good to me. I mean, I don't need all of these bubbles, but I wanted to kind of make the point and show this brilliant new idea that I've come up with with the, with the clip. We're not going to be perfect, not quite, uh, but pretty close. Yeah, I can't get so, another one. So a bit, a bit less a than bit halfway. A bit less than half, probably, yeah. But there's my, okay. my chain, and then I shall just wrap that. So again, never let go of either end. So if you're going to pass it through the middle, you've got to be very careful yeah. not to let go of the end. Twist two together. To, don't pull it too tight. If you pull it too tight, it's going to uh, pull through the, the gap there. Scissors. Yeah. And then I could trim off the ends that I don't need. Whoops, boom. And tie them off to secure. And there we go. So a little bit of detail. You can add more or less or as many of these as you'd want to. But ideally, you want to just add enough detail to make it interesting, but not so much that it takes you hours and hours and hours and you run out of um, profit. Now, if you, you can pre-prepare your bubbles. Yeah. Just twist the ends together so that they don't unravel. Put that 
through. You know, I've always thought about that. You know, we say pre-preparing. Yeah. Isn't that preparing? Yeah. So why do we say pre-preparing? <laughs> I don't know. It's like when people Very talk, good point. It's like when people talk about an ATM machine. Well, ATM stands for auto teller auto machine. Auto machine, you don't need the machine, yes. It's an auto teller machine machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else is there like that that we say? I bet there's loads. Yeah. There is one actually, but I can't remember exactly what it is that annoys me once a year on the radio when they do the the country to country festival. Uh, country music. Okay. And they introduce that. And uh, every year I think to myself, no, you don't need that laugh. I think they, the c country comes up like twice or something. I don't know what it yeah, is, yeah. but it's another one of those. Yeah. Right. So two bubble chains. I wasn't, I wasn't picking on you. I was just saying we, we all use it. We all say we prepare. We absolutely we do. Preparing, preparing. Preparing twice. <laughs> Over preparing that is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right. I've made some flowers. Really simple flowers, clusters of five balloons. Uh, these are inflated to three and a half, mm -hmm. um, and that one is four, and the ones in the middle are three. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to attach those to the balloon in a couple of places. So this one here, I'm going to take the so one on the front, one on the back to make it lie flat. Yeah. Okay. Without that, it'll tend to. Um, to, it, won't, it won't sit properly. So you talk about the five balloons lying flat. Together, yes, so, yes. Yeah. Without this one at the back, it, it, it doesn't. So you put one in the back. And I've taken the neck of that and I'm grabbing hold of the mm -hmm. tab and I'm just literally going to wrap that neck around the tab a few times. I've not seen that technique before. Yeah. And then into the cluster. And that will keep it. Once again, genius, Chris. Genius. I've said this before many, 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 many times. I'm a lazy person. Yeah. I look for the simplest and easiest and quickest way to achieve the end. That's called innovation. <coughs> Maybe. Like I said on the live. Maybe you're not so. lazy. You're an in, in, innovative. Innovative. <laughs> well, quite hard to say. thank you. Um, uh, again, this one. This one's uh, reflex gold with a truffle centre. That's reflex champagne with a gold centre. But I'm just hooking this one around the, the bubbles the bubble chain very nice the same thing a little bit of detail and then i want something else at the bottom here so i'm going to make one of those leaves those fern things that uh, you see and that do fox people so here we go i need four balloons four five balloons i need a uh, fern thing I, I don't know what you're talking about you'll, it'll all become clear in a minute okay. a palm frond kind of oh, okay. thing so 260 reflex gold give it a stretch first inflate it so you've got a little bit of gap at the end for the twists you're going to put in it tie that into a duplet do it again with some white sand a couple of those I remember the first time I saw you do the whole Thing around the pole. Oh yeah. yeah. And your hands moving in a way I've never seen hands move before. <laughs> but I can still do that, so that's good. But again, that's practice, isn't it? It's yeah. all down to practice. Um, you made it look so easy, and then other people would try it. I think it was during one of the training courses that you did. Was it an organic track? I can't remember. And people really struggle with it. See, I'm, uh, I'm kind of a little bit mean and a little bit evil because <laughs> I enjoy that. <laughs> I do enjoy doing something. Now you have a go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Knowing okay. that I've got like 30 years of practice behind well, me. You are a balloon sadist. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got two duplets and a single balloon here. And I'm going to lay these and lay them out like that. No, I'll start that way it doesn't really matter take this pull it over twist this balloon and wrap the knot into it so that you've got that and then it's really really simple and logical you pull these in mm -hmm. twist them together and put a bubble in the one at the back and wrap that in okay. and the reason I'm doing it in two colors is to make it clear that we keep this one in the center okay. all the way down. Then we pull these in, twist them together. Another bubble in the one at the back. 
pull these in, twist them together. Another bubble in the well, way. This is back. quite satisfying to watch. It's just repetitive, but the end result is beautiful. Now I'm doing it with two balloons on either side. Two balloons at the top, you know, yeah. two pairs. But you can do it with three, four pairs. Oh, um, okay. And then you get wider, fatter fronds. Yeah. And you just keep going until you've got a frond as long as you want it to be. So, I love doing these because they look so complicated, but they're actually not. Mm. And they add that little touch of um, detail, uh, intricate detail, to any design that you want that do, does have a tendency to make people go, ooh, you know, how well, did you do that? No customer would know how this was done. No, they wouldn't be able to figure it out. They could look at it. There's just no way they would know. No. And that mystery equates to value. It, it certainly equates does. To money in the bank account. It certainly does. So, one more there. And then we're just going to finish it off by pulling everything into this last twist. So, I shall pull these in a little bit tighter. Twist them together there. Pull it all together. Like so. And then we can deflate and remove all the ends. Well, all but one of the ends. I want to keep one. Pull them off. Deflate that one. And that one, tie it off. Just tying it off would make sure no air comes out. Yes, then it's going to stay put. Remove what you don't need there, deflate that bit, and then I'm going to attach this bit here. And then I can use these two tabs to attach it to the base so this is they've kind of got two sides this side with the the central oh, yeah, spine yeah, yeah. and that side without so it doesn't really matter so you, you could use either if you, you could use either one. end is it either or either either or either we're having all these these grammatical conversations today <laughs> which is american which is british hey, um, i don't know i absolutely don't know so i'm going to attach that there so Pull it in and just wrap it round. A couple of times there. If you've got a neck in the middle that you can tie it to, then use it. But it should be fine. Belt and braces. Belt and braces. Sit that there. Take this one across down here. Every one will be slightly different because you'll have different lengths of frond. Um, like that there further out there we go and then this last a bit of green tissue flower paper. I'm going to attach where did I put it on my plan oh I've done it the other way around doesn't really matter I'll put this over here and that's it so there's a couple of techniques that make it special yeah but other than that it's a very simple and basic design but you say it's simple and basic, but it just looks stunning. Well, that's it. Oh, I've got green tissue paper everywhere. Oh, no. Live yesterday. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah, it, well, it is. It, it, it does look stunning, but it is simple. Yeah. This gives it the sort of exotic it does, feel. Definitely. If you can master that technique, though, it's really fast to put together, but adds that touch of real detail. But even the bubbles, you see people that do bubbles consistently like that, all the same size, and it just looks so good. And if you put two pairs, two, yeah. two together, two strands together, yeah. it just looks even even better. Yeah. I, I love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it, Chris. Awesome. And then you can make several of them. So if you've got, you know, 80 or yeah. 21 or 103, yeah. you yeah. can just stack them next to each other. Yeah. And uh, just build it up from there. So and you'd be able to charge more for that than you would for a helium filled number eight, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. so. You would, you would, but you're not using any helium. So exactly. it's going to last a long time. 
Um, but so there you go. Right, Super as you cool. know, Chris, as a guest on BMTV, you get to get get to ask everybody the question of the, the week. The question of the week. So this week's question of the week is: Do number t- number stacks form a significant part of your business? Very concise. I don't even have to reword it. No, you don't. <laughs> I was thinking about that too. Leave your comments but, down below on Facebook and on YouTube, Chris. Thanks once again for this genius design. Pleasure. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. That way you'll be notified every time we upload a new show. Check us out on Instagram as well. Right, stay positive and stay really happy. And I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.